Well, we're about to start the pilgrimage to St Albans uh, and meet Sigurd again. I've been about on the map. Uh, I was just testing a couple of things out today. Uh, over here. Um, I tried to get this, but it's obviously in a fort that's maybe later game. And I couldn't get in. Mm. In this rock pool, there is also a large perch. You can go up and get this uh, viewpoint, jump into the top one here, and then jump into the bottom one. What I did was come from the back, swim there, push them all over to the forward bit, which is you're able to stand up in. And you can get perch, big perch, um, re mm, regular burbot. And then I've never seen any big burbot, so uh, that's uh, regular burbot, big perch there. And there's a bucket, I'm sure. Yeah. Bucket them. Yeah, there's a pond up here. Yeah, here it is. There's two big perch in this one. Anybody that's looking. And here we're going to start this one. Okay, so here we go. I'm still using the Hunter armor set with the two spears both on uh, uh, the wolf line doing good for me just now Linforda Charm her when she's in our care. Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what oh, I've learned guy. about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If she asks for one question, she'll answer ten. Good. But we mustn't seem eager. She could use it against us. And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The holy woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned. At St. Albanese Monastery, just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me, your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eidman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. <laughs> she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew. I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y you're trusting me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanese, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Yeah, where do we need to go now? Over that way. What do you see? Uh, well, we've got a couple of things we need to get. 
actually. So, oh my god. Oh my god. to be them all. Come back to Linforder. Leave that big one as a marker because there's a couple there. Sorry, there's a big perch there. See you later. Looks like a big perch in this bit as well. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows Pollock. her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Oops. Jesus, these boats are really delicate. Holy mollies. <laughs> what did this horse come out of? Alright then. <laughs> I was gonna get Seeger the lefty, you hate them. This one. I'm seeing the hammer on the roof. There's a door here. I'm gonna get your list of fog of stuff. There we go. Bloody snakes. Yeah, well. <coughs> well, I quit the menu and I reset the game. Oh, I also fought the big, uh, bear back in Norway. I attempted to gain on or to no avail. <laughs> Excuse me.
the uh, Oh, I'm still miles away, thanks. I'm gonna go up here though, see if I can see any arrows. No, I think there's a lot. That was a flying jump kill. I was here before. Because I set the traps on these. set a trap on yeah. show me what lies ahead you don't show me much bird to be perfectly honest oh whoa 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 You didn't, man. Two. 
Where's my next, next upgrade? How much more do I need? Eight fabric. Here's the monastery, St. Albanes. Fulke's held inside, somewhere well protected. Could they have moved her? No. She's here somewhere. <coughs> Through here. Had a long yeah. last. Kia got there by the But see the way I kind of see. Like Holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce Sophia's cloud, to see beyond and above the lies of the elder above. To know the first mystery that is the last mystery that is the 24th Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. She regards. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. I also went to uh, Stavanger and got that other. I'm sure he's going to tell somebody. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you Good Lord, it's sent arc. by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. 
A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin, and that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. And then here. No, there's one over there. Gonna get to there. A fight and shoe here. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works so. of the Demiurge. Oh, there's something outside. <laughs> But her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fouke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods. Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Yeah, let's the sooner go see we it. see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. Oh, come on, ride a bit faster, will you? You bloody slow it riding. Right What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect. Those guys, have been wandering everywhere. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in yourself. 
I don't know what he does, he just says, I need to find more information. These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldapath. The demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Saclas and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. On your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. Revenge note. Mm. Where are you going? I'm a wolf. <whistles> Here runs off. I've been here as well. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. Yeah, I've cleared it out. Yep. Light found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too oh, craven yeah, and too to understand the secret wisdom we possess. A strange bishop was here. He was uh, outlawed. And Singing. You got a little mission there. A little Paul, mystery mission. Are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Basil, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is with him. Oh yeah, I wondered why he was dead there. Dear God. Is this him? Your acolyte, Paul. My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eva. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Great. I knew a fight was going to come. One, two, three, four, nine. Only nine. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin, a stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? 
We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gadrid a word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gidrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. Oh. We do not. Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? We have this. Even this. We had our chance. We will speak of this. Issue. Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. You think? This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Okay. Edwin asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenford. Rations? Rations? South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Who's that guy? 
Etwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. A random guy just standing there. Look like these. So the skills we can put on. Um, attack. Okay, we're going for this way. Go for this. One, two, three. These are good guys. Uh, jump off there. Lads, 
We ain't ready to attack, Eivor. Edwin's still too strong. Too well supplied. And got more men coming. I'll return soon. Okay, so this is going to be further to attack from. Maybe get some hearts. Show me. Okay, maybe I've got them all. I've got a heart there as well. For shooting in the butt. Alvar is an old fool trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? We'll soak the beach in blood, we will. <laughs> no gold hoard is safe from us. from home, Norseman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you, make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend. Shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense. Black Bjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. Get up a safe stone. Fish, bring the 
come along. We'll have no time to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. Lucky to still be alive. The crew fought like heroes. No Saxon survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn scarred. They were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you lit their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> the last raid completed. Okay, another two points. Good. Going up here, a bit. One more for that one.
to go bigger. There's something under here. Oh yeah, I was here before. I had to find a way up onto that tree. Which is off this branch here. Jump, jump, jump. When you're on it. Okay, with that now done, uh, I think I'll end this video. Dear man, would you live under Adrian's boot? For that is where you will be if these supplies reach her castle. If you like it, I'd give thumbs up. I'd give any man for enough silver. If you don't, I have a don't. livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. You need only give me time, I must lose my word. It's a crying shame, your story. A few supplies ain't gonna rewrite the history of the world, woman. Good friend, your wares will bring death to the farmers and merchants of this land. Could you live with such a burden? None of my concern. Not until there's a sword at your neck. Okay.